What is up, everybody? Tubaverse TV here today, and we're gonna talk about the most recent Call of Duty game and how this one fan of the series is just noticing a big change right now. Uh, so this guy is really heavily invested into the Call of Duty franchise. This guy's on a website. He's a kick streamer. He's a, uh, a freelance shoutcaster. So this whole thing is dedicated to Call of Duty, apparently. So, And he says he notices a change with this series over time. Like, he generally just doesn't understand why Call of Duty is getting its worst reviews of all time Modern Warfare 3. Especially not the multiplayer. We've had some terrible Call of Duty games, but none have been ever been scrutinized this heavy by major game media outlets and reviewers. What has changed? And I think we all know what changed if you follow the channel for a while. And that is because it's acquired by Microsoft and the Xbox tax is in full effect at this point. Because once again, people saying the game was just rushed out as a glorified DLC. What was that complaint about any of the other Call of Duty games? Like... And if anything, they all are rushed out because they come out very fast. But, you know, this is the one where the game media wants to take a stance to be heavily critical. I call BS. I think that's the only reason because it's owned by Microsoft. Once again, the Xbox tax is real. That's why I was trending a few days ago. Because people know that that's the reason why they scrutinize these games heavily. Because Microsoft has some type of association with them. So. Uh, but, yeah, let's see what people got to say about this right here. This press response says most likely due to the fact that most gaming journalists fall into the hyper casual group of Call of Duty players, and Infinity Ward has created a certain expectation of catering heavily to that group since Modern Warfare 2019. So when we get a game with gameplay that's geared more toward the serious fans, let's remember the saying they eliminated casuals with this newest one. That's what you're trying to say here. This person states, it's a seven dollar DLC with nothing new to offer aside from things that could have been patched to the previous game which also felt like an expansion of a game that came out four years ago. Then he says, this sounds like an alternative way to describe every Call of Duty sequel ever made. Yeah, I'm like, well, what's the difference really? If you say it's just the DLC, what's the difference? Or even the people who play the Maddens, the FIFAs, the NBA 2Ks, the yearly installments of sports games, you don't complain about those. The media never criticizes those games, but it's just, just a mighty coincidence that we want to criticize this game heavily once Microsoft acquired them. So, but you can see that the Xbox attack is not real, but it's pretty obvious at this point. Like, you don't criticize no other game from Call of Duty franchise, but this one is getting heavily, getting heavily criticized now. Make it make sense. I wonder how the reviewers would have looked at the press play of the entire game, not just the campaign. But the bad reviews for multiplayer make absolutely no sense to me. Yeah. Xbox tax happened. Uh, the negativity just gets clicks more and outlets will dunk on it than vanish. I have no doubt Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone this year will have some of the highest retention retention rates. Okay. Okay, so this... Okay, so he's saying the straw that broke the camel's back. So apparently this is the one. <laughs> this is the final straw, apparently. It wasn't last year, so I was a fun of trouble this year. Like, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. This person states the Xbox tax once again. This is the third time they sold some Modern Warfare, but Modern with Modern Warfare 2 maps. I don't know. Maybe something else, though. This is an Xbox tax. Like, cut the BS. We know why. They ain't known it now. Xbox tax. I think that's the real reason here. Pessimism just pays off. People just want to complain. Uh, I believe the negative perception that was created by first saying it will be DLC and then still launching it as a full game created some wrong expectations. But if you're enjoying the multiplayer, like what's the big deal if it is DLC? Let's just let's just say it is just DLC. What is the difference if you're enjoying it? <laughs> Does it matter if it's a DLC or poor game if you're still enjoying it? Like, I guess it's like I just once again I just understand it. People will play the same sports game year by year. Don't complain about that. But you know with this Call of Duty game, we all just gotta complain about it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I think the majority of the reviews are factoring in the similar dollar price tag, which to many is expensive for a fixed multiplayer. But once again, I got to keep reiterating it like a broken record. 
you keep doing the same thing with the sports games though so if you got this heavy stance against the seven dollar price tag for call of duty then i'm assuming you got the same heavy stance against these sports games as well if you don't then you're just a hypocrite plain or simple People found out that the negative Call of Duty reviews increase engagement. Is that what it is? I don't know. The tax, of course, their Xbox now and media hates Xbox. New ownership. Xbox bought Activision. That is the only change. Even Vanguard has better review scores, and that is wild. Yeah, that was like one of the most hated ones. That and like the Ghost Call of Duty is the most hated ones. But I don't think I am seeing the media go that hard against those games as they're doing against this one. Mm. Xbox owns them now. People keep saying it's Xbox tax, Xbox tax just because Xbox owns them. So yeah, I think I think that's the mainly the reason why. Um, so I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, you, I mean, the media can be super negative, but the game is selling extremely well right now. Like, once again, this game was bundled with. The, the holiday PlayStation PS5 bundle so it's like it's gonna sell a lot on uh, for the holidays so I think Microsoft's gonna be pretty happy with how this college is selling despite the negative reviews from media so either way it kind of really don't matter <laughs> what the media media outlets reviewers say it was like it, it, it made his money it's gonna make a ton of money so it is what it is but I'm going to include it right here. I think that kind of answers this question. What changed? Because people, you gotta understand, this guy's been following this thing hardcore for years. Like, I'm just a casual Call of Duty fan. I don't care about Call of Duty like that. But this person who's been following it for years and speaking out like around a super negativity around this one title, like, it, it has to be a reason why. We know it's the whole Xbox tax reason. Let's, let's be honest here. That's a bias against Xbox. So. Those are just my thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Leave a like, like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.